God has prepared for them that love him. Amen. Hallelujah. Yes, he is. And I like that scripture because you really need to dissect that scripture. Mm -hmm. Dissect. Amen. Oh, wow. But the word prepare in the Greek means to provide or to make ready. All right. Amen. So it's saying, in other words, but as it is written. But you know, I like but. Because but means except for the fact. Yeah. 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 It's except for the fact that it is written. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Amen. Amen. See, we're going to experience some things yeah. that yeah. the eye have not seen, yeah. the ear has not heard. Yeah. Yeah. Neither have it entered into the heart of man mm -hmm. the things which God has provided. Yeah. Or made ready yeah. for them that love him. Yeah. Love is God. Do you love him? Yes. Yeah. 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 But God yeah. got some things prepared for Call you. It, yeah. it means to be super abundant. My God. But you know the word also in the Hebrew has a kind of different little meaning, which go even deeper. One of the words for overflow in the Hebrew mean gush. Another word for overflow in the Hebrew is cleanse. Yeah. See, overflow will cleanse you from lack. Oh. 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 Come on, come on. Another word for overflow in the Hebrew means to drown. To drown. See, you'll no longer be drowning in debt. Oh, you'll be drowning your debt. Come on. That's good. Yeah. I said, you'll no longer be drowning in debt. Now you're going to drown the debt with your overflow. Yeah. See, you know, that's the Overflow in the Hebrew means to thoroughly wash away. Overflow will consume lack. It will consume need. In other words, there would be no debris or lack or hard times or sickness or famine in your land. God said, get ready for overflow. You've been praying, you've been fasting, you've been believing, you've been standing, you believe in God, so get ready for overflow. Amen. Not just in finances, amen, but in giftings, in ministry, in marriages, and in every era of our lives. Amen. The apostle gave a word on New Year's Eve. He said that 2019 would be a year for God's suddenly and sovereignty. Yes. He said that God was stirring heaven for his people. Amen. He said God was stirring heaven. When you stir something, that means you rouse it up. You excite it. And I believe that's what is happening in heaven right now. And it's getting roused. Amen. It's getting excited about what God has done for his people. Amen. He said that it's going to be a suddenly blessing. Amen. Right. Now, suddenly means to, to happen without warning or notice. Amen. Amen. Suddenly. suddenly. Amen. It means very quickly. Yes. Suddenly. Oh, yes. Unexpectedly. Yes. Suddenly. Oh, Occur occurring without transition from a previous state of form. So, it don't have to change. Things don't have to change for God to move in your life. Come on. It can happen suddenly. Oh, Amen. Amen. He does whatever he pleases. Yeah. The message Bible says, our God is in heaven doing whatever he wants to do. Oh, Amen. So if he wants to stir heaven, if he wants us to have overflow suddenly and suddenly, oh, it's a done deal. Oh, yeah. Because it's already written. Yeah. Yeah. If it hadn't been written, maybe it's something else. Oh, but, it's right. saying, but for the fact yeah. that it is written. Yeah. So things don't have to change or take place or occur. Uh, before God can move in our lives. Amen. Amen. He said it will happen suddenly and sovereignly. Now sovereignly is, that means that God is free and has a right to do whatever he wants to do. Yeah. See, God is not bound or limited by the things he created. He's not bound by the things, or limited by the things he created. So God is free to do whatever he wants to do. Amen. 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 So, I have a few questions for you. Right. One, are you ready for overflow? Yes. Are you prepared for overflow? Yes. See, you need a certain, that's right, because you need a certain amount of, the, a certain degree of wisdom for overflow. Yes. Okay. Amen. You need to be mature to handle overflow. That's right. Amen. First Corinthians 3 and 2 talks about how uh, I have fed you with milk and not with meat because you were unable 
to bear it. Amen. Amen. So we got to have a wisdom, amen, when we receive this overflow. Amen. And we know that's true because look at how many people that hit the lottery and won millions of dollars and were broke oh, in the no, same no. year because there was not a wisdom applied. Right. So we got to have wisdom. Amen. 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 Do you have a plan? We believe for overflow. Amen. And you've been believing for overflow for a long time. Amen. But do you have a plan? Amen. 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 You believe you're going to be rich one day? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So we get a plan. Yeah. Amen. 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 You got to apply wisdom. You don't want to wait till you get your money. Come no. on. No. And then try to figure out what to do. Come no. on. Because you get to spin it then. You got to spin it. You spin it up. Amen. 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 Turn to Proverbs 8 and 14. It says, Counsel is mine and sound wisdom. I am understanding. I have strength. By me kings reign and princes decree justice. By me princes rule the nobles, even all the judges of the earth. I love them that love me, and those that seek me early shall find me. Riches and honor are with me, yea, durable riches and righteousness. So we need wisdom. Yeah. Amen. Now the living Bible put it this way. It says, I wisdom give good advice and common sense. Because of my strength, kings reign in power. I show the judges who is right and who is wrong. Rulers rule well with my help. I love all who love me. Those who search for me shall surely find me. Unending riches, honor, justice, and righteousness are mine to distribute. So wisdom is important in our prosperity. Amen. In our growth. Amen. It would bring you all into wealth. Yes. And help you to keep it. That's right. Amen. That's what we want. We want to not only just have the wealth, right. but we want to be able to keep it. Yes. Amen. Yes. So we need this wisdom that yes. God has given us. Yes. The second question I have to ask you uh -huh. Are you on the right road that leads to overflow? Uh -huh. Are you doing what you know to do? All right. Pertaining to the things of God? Are you obedient to the word of God? All right now. Right. He's gonna, he gonna mix love. Are you a tither? All right, all right. All right. All right. Amen. Turn to Proverbs three, yeah. nine and ten. Because if we want, we want God, all God has for us, but we don't want to give God all He has for us. Yeah. 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 Well, Proverbs three and nine. We there? Amen. Amen. He said, Honor the Lord with thy substance, uh -huh. and with the first fruit of all thy increase. Oh, thy so shall thy bones be filled yeah. with plenty, uh -huh. and thy presence shall burst out with new wine. New wine. Now, that word honor in the uh, Hebrew, it means to bring to or to come to. It said, To bring to or come to the Lord with thy substance. Hmm. And with the first fruits of all thy increase. Oh, and then the message of the Bible say, Give him the first and the best. All right now. All right now. Wow. See, when we tie the first and the best, then the blessing of increase will be on the rest. All right. All right. All right. All right. He said, Once you bring your first fruit of all thy increase, he said, Then so shall your barns be filled with plenty. And our precious shall burst out with new wine. Yes, and so the blessing of increase came amen, after you gave your first yes. and your best. Yes. 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 So you get quiet, we're talking about time. Yes. 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 Amen. Third question, but that's what we want. We want overflow. We got to get in position. Amen. You have to do what you know you're supposed to be doing. Amen. 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 For this thing to manifest in your life. Amen. Number three. Do you have any roadblocks set up? Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh -huh. How's your confession? Mm. Are you walking by faith and not by sight? All right. All right. Are you speaking those things that be not as though they were? Uh -huh. Come on. What's in your heart? Uh -huh. Is there any unforgiveness? Uh -huh. Hatred? Uh -huh. <laughs> Prejudice? Uh -huh. There's a lot of things that's prejudiced. Yeah. 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 What's in your heart? You have to search, search your own heart. Amen. Come on, amen. See, in this world, we have a global uh, positioning system. All right. Amen. That lets you know where you are at all times. It's called the GPS. Yes. That's what GPS stands for. Yes. Global positioning system. 
but to let you know where you are at all times. All this is right. for navigation. Amen. Yeah. Right. It speaks and it gives instruction. In right. 1.4 miles, make a right. Yeah. Even if you mess up or miss your turn, it'll, build, it'll, try, it'll correct you yeah. and yeah. reroute you in your new route. Amen. 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 Proceed ahead for two miles and make a left. Amen. <laughs> It'll tell you what to do and which way to go. Yes. Well, this Bible Come on, and the Holy Amen. Spirit Come on, is yeah. our GPS. Come on. Amen. Come on. It's our global positioning system. Amen. And it's always available. Amen. It tells us which way we need that which way it needs to wear, how where to turn. If you get on the wrong path, if you give you reroute you, Come amen. On. Yeah. See the word of God will show you what overflow look like. Oh my God. It'll tell you that Jesus came so that we may have life and have this life and enjoy our life and have it more abundantly. Yes. Abundantly right. to the full, to the overflow. Yes. Amen. Yes. Tell your book from Bible to Romans 12 and 2. It says, first, seek ye first. God's kingdom, yeah. amen, God's domain, amen, yeah. the realm of God where he rules and governs and yeah. reigns. Yeah. We have to seek that place, amen, yeah. and then it says, and his righteousness, yeah. his yeah. way of doing things. Yeah. Not our own way, amen. but we have to seek his righteousness, his way of doing things, his, his, uh, the way that he operates, amen. amen, so we have to operate in God's abilities, yeah. not our own. Amen. Yeah. Amen. In God's ability. Amen. Oh, yeah. So we must be willing to change. Come on now. All right. Amen. See, when you know a better way, you have to do the better way. Yes. You can't remain the same. Amen. 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 See, you can't live like the world and then expect godly results. Okay. Okay. That's point. Yes. I said you can't live like the world and then expect godly results. Okay. Amen. You got to change. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Third John 3 says, Beloved, I wish above all things that thou mayest prosper and be in health, even as thy soul prospers. Yes. Now your soul is your mind, your will, your intellect, your imagination, your emotions. So can we deduce that how you think may affect your health and your prosperity? Amen. 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 It says, yes. seek ye first the kingdom of God. Yes. And then all these things will yes. be added, all the overflow, all these yes. things will be added. Amen. Because God's divine order will cause wealth. Amen. When you get in God's divine order, it will cause wealth. Amen. Deuteronomy 8 and 18 say, for it is he that gives it the power to get wealth. Amen. Now, let's turn to Luke. 6 and 38. Yeah. 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 Hallelujah. Yeah. Not all those words. Yeah. It's only one of them is for us. Yeah. To give. The rest of the verse is a result of your obedience. Yeah. The only word in that verse is for us is yeah. give. The very first yeah. word. And everything else yeah. is going to be based on your obedience. Come on, that's the truth. It said give. Mm -hmm. And once you give, it said and. Yeah. It shall, that's a promise word, yeah. be added unto you. Good measure, pressed down, and shaken together, and running over. Shall, another promise, men give into your bosom. But with the same measure that ye meet with all, it shall be measured to you again. So how much you give is how much you can ask. Yes. Amen. It depends on your, your overflow. It depends wow. on you. Amen. The common English Bible says give, and it will be given to you. Yes. A good portion. Yes. Packed down. Wow. Firmly shaken yes. and overflowing. Thank you. Will fall into your lap. Yes. The portion you give will determine the portion you receive in return. Yes. Amen. This yes. is an apple, and this is a harvest. Amen. Now, I cut it earlier today, so it's why you look around, but it's good. Yeah. This album is not only good, this album came from Whole Foods. <laughs> 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 good album. Amen. Amen. 
is sweet. <laughs> but see, that's how the harvest is. Yeah. The harvest is sweet. Yeah. 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 Amen. The Bible says yeah. it's more blessed to give yeah. than it is to receive. Yeah. Yeah. And you know why? Because see, when you receive, you re you re you just rejoice. Amen. But that's more like a fleshy thing. Yeah. Right, right. But see, when you give, come on, it comes from the spirit. Come on, Something come on. warm happens in you. Something good. You feel good about yourself when you give. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. So here Amen. we have the harvest. And the harvest is always sweet. All right. Amen. Yeah. But now, in the harvest, there's always a seed. Mm -hmm. That's right. Yeah. You can get that seed out. Just bite it if you can. See, don't taste good. Amen. Because everything was not made for human consumption. Oh, right. Oh, right. Oh, See, the seed was not made to be eaten. Come on! The seed was made to reproduce. You know, to plant the seed. Yes. Not eat the seed. Oh, and it's amazing that the seed is the smallest part of the harvest. Amen. 